Hello everyone. Welcome back. Today, uh, in the previous video, we have uh, uh, gone through what compensation is and what are the objectives of compensation. Uh, we will continue from there and in this video, we will look at to what are the components uh, that form the overall compensation part or all the compensation package. Uh, as we have seen with the definition of what compensation is, that it's a range of financial non and non-financial benefits or rewards that an employee receives for the work done. Now, from that aspect, we can consider these four cons uh, components, these four categories of components forming the overall employee compensation. Uh, we can say that at the base level, there is a base or primary compensation. Then uh, extended payments we may see in the form of incentive compensation and some additional benefits or supplementary or complementary kind of uh, benefits that an employee might receive in, the, in terms of compensation through fringe benefits and uh, there are non-financial benefits also that forms another component of the employee compensation so we have both financial and non-financial benefits so at the base level we see or we can find a whole set of component compensation component in the form of base or primary compensation uh, these basic uh, compensation part uh, might be in the form of wages salaries and allowances so there are these two things wages or salaries and allowances uh, actually wages and salary uh, and salaries carry a different meaning here in terms of the way they are being paid uh, wages actually represents uh, the hourly rate of pay uh, whereas salaries represent monthly rate of pay uh, it's just like in Indian context we normally see uh, salaries with monthly rate of play and uh, there what we see is that uh, we'll get salary for the sake of spending our time on the job for whole month uh, whereas wages we uh, consider from the point of view of uh, the time spent in terms of uh, or the pay rate in terms of hours or in terms of number of units produced or in terms of uh, uh, no, uh, short term uh, uh, performance aspects uh, wage kind of thing <clears throat> or most of the payments in the western uh, context we may see hourly base rates so per hour uh, a kind of payment is fixed and that is paid in terms of uh, um, that is paid on monthly basis so wages uh, kind of things are more prevalent in western countries and uh, uh, in India we see most of the salary kind of thing now these salaries or wages they normally differ, differ from one employee to the other employee like the salary what I receive is quite different with the other employee and this depends on the nature of job uh, the cadre what we have the cadre what we come across like uh, at what grade one person so from one grade to another grade uh, the salary changes uh, the nature of job uh, makes or brings the distinction between the salary from one job to another job uh, the type of industry there might be difference so based on seniority there might be difference based on, based on merit there might be difference. Now, if you look into the salary part the most at the, at the central aspect of any salary uh, being considered uh, we can look into having uh, or the component what we see is the basic pay now basic pay is actually the direct compensation what an employee receives all other components what you see in the compensation are based on this basic pay right uh, it's a fixed component and this component uh, becomes 
a source for computing uh, other uh, compensation components like bonus and other benefits and uh, uh, this fixation depends on the, the compensation policy that an organization has means for this job what they would like to fix the basic payment for the job uh, and then consider other bonuses other payments other benefits so basic pay forms the central part for any salary aspect so companies basically will have a compensation policy with regard to basic pay and uh, the, the level of basic pay uh, is also dependent on the external labor market conditions as conditions change the basic pay might be quite different uh, based on uh, such market situations so organizational policy and the labor markets might have an, a strong influence on the way the basic pay is determined for the job now the third aspect in the first or the central component of uh, compensation is the allowances now these are uh, the expenditures which an employee might incur in in performance on the way the employee uh, undergoes for performing a particular job or the duties connected with the employment so what and all the expenditure that an employee comes and uh, faces and incurs in order to perform a particular job so those can be put in the allowances format so like that we have a dns allowance we have traveling allowance we have telephone allowances now these are basically allowances which uh, are provided for the sake of performing the job so uh, these are the uh, expenditure that an employee uh, undergoes or incurs in order to perform the job so there is uh, two aspects if you can see like uh, payment for the exact working and payment for anything which employee uh, incurs as a cost on his or her own for performing the job so two aspects are there now second thing what we may see is that uh, if you have performed a job and you performed it better than what is being expected like if you have a target and you uh, reach the target or go beyond the target so you know, you're working for the target is what your basic salary is and if you reach and reach the target or perform above the target then you are uh, doing uh, more than what is being expected so for that there will be uh, incentives these are basically monetary payments that an employee gets for the performance results now these such uh, higher level of performance are rewarded in terms of incentives and this is again this is also a part of the compensation that an or that an employee receives now that uh, this part of compensation or incentive compensation might be uh, allowed for um, on the basis of individual performance or on the basis of uh, group performance as a whole right so we may you may have you you might be given an incentive for your individual performance or you might be given incentive is the work is if the work uh, looks into the overall group performance levels right and your group achieves that performance or goes beyond that uh, target there now this incentive compensation is actually in addition to the salaries or wages what you receive and that in that sense receive in that sense is dependent on the profits profitability or dependent on the profits or dependent on the sales uh, now uh, 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 no you can imagine very comfortably here uh, in case of the sales target been put to the sales executive a sales executive or a sales representative are given a target of so and so units to be sold um, <coughs> uh, 
for a month. Now, if the salesperson uh, achieves that target or goes beyond that target, then apart from the salary, which is being fixed to the salesperson, uh, that person will also receive an incentive for the sake of doing better business uh, than targeted one. Right. So, in that sense, incentives are a kind of extended kind of payments. <coughs> so, uh, in, in another sense, uh, incentive compensation uh, can be defined as an alternative compensation scheme, you know, which actually correlates with the payment, uh, which actually correlates with the business results. So, in that sense, <coughs> it's like uh, uh, motivating employees to have or, or participate more in the management process. So if they participate and perform better than what they are expected, then they'll get, get the, this additional this additional payment. Then <clears throat> we come across fringe benefits. Now these are again uh, additional things. These are sign, these are basically a kind of complementary things that are being provided to the employee. Uh, things like your medical care, your subsidized food or transportation or uh, group insurance or retirement benefits. These are all uh, uh, additional benefits. They might not, you, you might not be receiving a direct uh, money. These are something which you are receiving in an indirect sense. So if you are you, you given a medical insurance, medical care facility, so you don't get money for every month or you don't get money uh, every year. You, <coughs> you, you will be having a provision. So whenever that medical emergency arises, this benefit you can use. Uh, there will be a transportation facility. So you can keep on utilizing that one if you opt for such facility. So these are kind of benefits rather than a part of a uh, payment or rather than your paycheck, part of a paycheck. These are additional benefits what is being drawn there. Now, if these benefits are uh, uh, applied or uh, attached to some managerial positions, so we can use the term perquisites or perks. Now, at the managerial level or you can say at more uh, higher end level positions, means the, for, the, for, for, for top level managers, Apart from these medical care, retirement or group insurance benefits, they will also receive some more luxury kind of perquisites. Uh, things like a chauffeur driven car, an executive, a top end executive might, might, might uh, receive a furnished house as a benefit, uh, as, as a perk or may have a club membership a, 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 an, an elite club membership so such kind of things normally in such elite level a high level of uh, uh, perquisites uh, are basically extended to top level management employees right now the <coughs> the other uh, component of uh, benefits or compensation what an employee receives are non benefit non monetary benefits. Now here you don't receive any payment here but a kind of recognition or uh, in terms of uh, merit a kind of uh, uh, challenging responsibility uh, kind of uh, uh, comfortability in your working conditions or flexibility in your working timings right uh, or uh, job sharing these are some 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 non benefit non monetary things which an employee receives but these things are either given as part of uh, your past uh, performance or as part of uh, uh, making you uh, emotionally or psychologically get attached and become more motivated or find your job as more satisfying job. So these are this doesn't carry any monetary aspect to the employee. Might be company might be incurring some. Uh, expenses in order to provide such kind of uh, facilities, such kind of benefits, like uh, in case uh, for a performance, the employee might be receiving a, uh, might not be receiving any money, but might be receiving an appreciation letter. 
so that appreciation letter is kind of an emotional or you can say kind of a psychological uh, linkage that is being drawn so that the employee can get motivated in order to perform uh, the tasks consistently better in the future also but right? so if they, they actually act like a positive reinforcement for the employees a kind of a, um, treatment in terms of behavioral content for your uh, work done so these are the things normally being uh, extended or you know, being uh, uh, provided by the management to the employees so which 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 does not carry any money to the em uh, employee but as i have told it already that there might be some pay expenditure involved to the management so that uh, such non-monetary benefits can also be provided to the employees. So these are four components which uh, employees will receive in terms of uh, uh, compensation. So as if you can see that you can if you can see you can easily imagine uh, uh, various uh, kinds of uh, payments that an employee receives. It might include both uh, uh, monetary as well as uh, non-monetary compensation right so that's it guys for the uh, for this uh, topic uh, in the next class we will uh, go ahead with the concepts of wages uh, till then see you bye bye